Very quick news update video for you today. So a press release from the government was released yesterday um, which um, lets us know that air-to-air -air heat pumps are now part of the boiler upgrade scheme which is excellent news. Um, this uh, press release is very, very light on details. Um, it mentions air-to-air -air heat pumps um, becoming part of the boiler upgrade scheme. And the important part of this is that the discount is going to be £2,500 um, for installing an air-to-air -air heat pump system, um, very similar to what we've got. So our heat pump system covers basically our whole house and it cost us about £8,500. So this £2,500 discount would have brought that down to about £5,000, which would be pretty comparable actually to the £7,500 off of an um, air-to-air, air-to-water heat pump system um, would have made a, uh, the cost of installing one of those systems for our house about the same. So um, I think this level of discount is broadly in line with what I would expect um, and um, means that if you had a choice between air to water and air to air, you would probably end up paying roughly the same, I think, give or take, um, given that air to air heat pump systems tend to be a little bit cheaper to install than air to water. Uh, the um, Otherwise, this is pretty light on details. It doesn't say anything about um, provision of hot water. So that's one thing that we obviously had to do separately from the air-to-air -air heat pump system for our heating is the hot water is now done by our Mixergy integrated heat pump cylinder. But prior to, the, to us getting that installed, we actually were using um, just the immersion heater in our cylinder. So this doesn't say anything about what you would do um, for hot water if you did replace your boiler with an um, air-to-air -air heat pump system. So um, I look forward to seeing more details on that. The other thing I notice about this press release is that it also mentions heat batteries. Um, so this would be something like, I guess, like the Tepio um, uh, hot water um, uh, heat battery that um, can provide heating for modestly sized ha homes. Um, the problem with heat batteries, well, I say problem, it depends on your, on your situation. Obviously, heat batteries are useful in certain situations. But for example, the Tepio, um, heat battery will give you about 40 kilowatt hours, 40 kilowatt hours of heat, whereas um, you know a house like ours would probably burn through that on a day like today when it's particularly cold. We'd burn through that by midday, so um, you know that wouldn't be wouldn't be ideal for us. So um, a heat pump system for us is is obviously a lot better. So that's something to bear in mind um, when choosing between you know air to water, air to air. Um, heat pumps versus heat batteries that you should consider sort of the, you know the total amount of heating that you require in your home. Be careful with your decision making and make sure that you um, you do your sums properly before making those decisions. Uh, and for most people, um, I would still suggest a, a, some sort of heat pump would be preferable to a heat battery. Um, obviously, you know, there are some edge cases where heat batteries are going to be better. So, uh, you know, if you've got a heat battery, I'm not saying that that, that, that choice was wrong. But uh, for most people, I suspect a, a, a heat pump will be the better option for you. So, um, yeah, bear that in mind. Uh, so yeah, I would um, say that uh, for, for small homes, flats, um, air-to-air -air is absolute, absolutely a fantastic option for you uh, if you're considering um, changing your boiler for a, um, a, some form of heat pump. Um, you know, this, this is exactly why they've introduced this um, for you know, flats and, um, and small houses. This would be absolutely ideal. Uh, yeah, the hot water issue is something that um, I would like to find more details on. But otherwise, I will drop the link to this um, particular... Uh, press release into the um, into the video description. So go and check that out um, if you want to read this on your own time. But otherwise, yep, very quick video from me today. Hope you found that interesting. And when I learn more details about the exact sort of uh, specifications of this um, upgrade to the boiler upgrade scheme, I will let you know. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.